Welcome back. I just recorded a video in which I played the Venbot. Not only did I lose pretty badly, but I I, I uttered some profanity, so I'm going to re redo this. Okay. In the other game, Ven played D4. This time, Ven's playing E4. Um, yeah, I really don't. Last time I tried the Sicilian, that didn't work. Let's just try the Scandinavian again. Queen to E2 doesn't seem like a great move. Here I think I just take the pawn, and when the queen takes back, I get my knight out. I think. I think Ben is the only opponent I've ever had that, after I play open with the Scandinavian, just puts his queen right there. Okay. That is attacking the pawn, but they were already attacking the pawn. So right away, I think that's a mistake. Um, and I think I need to just develop, which protects the knight. I mean, which I, I don't need to protect that pawn. It's already done its job, but I need to develop now. And uh, it's going to be one of the two knights. So I, I think might as well just do this one. Okay. Another hit. Again, I'm not worried about protecting that pawn. That's one thing I've learned. In the Scandinavian, if the opponent doesn't take it and I use it to take something else, I, I can let it go at that point. Um, however, um, I can protect it at the same time that I'm developing. And I do need to develop. I know that I should get this bishop out. Then I can move this pawn and get the other bishop out. And see what they do. Okay, that's probably preparing g4. So that's what some of my opponents often do right here. But in that case, I can just drop back, I think. I think. I, I don't know. This prepares to get this bishop out, is the idea. Okay. But I don't know where exactly I want to put it, because obviously I don't want to put it there. I could put it here, but that kind of limits my queen's movement. Or just here. Prepare to castle. Or I could go ahead and get this knight out. I'm not sure. Um, we, we've... Ven's gone so far off of the normal book moves that I play here so I, I'm not sure not sure what he's doing or what I should do at this point um, you know what let's just let's uh, develop this knight here and then we can go there with it um, okay I see what's going on here, um, and if I put my bishop there to stop that, then uh, they just take the bishop. However, I could put my bishop here, and that blocks the queen from defending or attacking c7. And the knight's guarding the bishop, I think. I think that's a mistake. Like, did 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 Ven have a mouse slip there? Okay. And I think I can just go ahead and kick this knight out with uh, c6. Okay, that's fine. I want to put my knight here, but this, but it's protecting the bishop right now, and that's attacking my other bishop. So, should I just take it? Finally, or just retract this bishop? Yeah. 
man, that's this is one reason I I didn't play the bots for a long time. They just don't play like human beings at all. Like I don't think any human I've ever played w would have played that right now. I think they would have done something like this, attacking my bishop again. Um Yeah. Okay. Where's that going? Where's where is A4 going? Is it trying to invade already? Should I go ahead and castle? Get my other rook out? Take the knight, retract the bishop. Because the bishop is keeping my knight locked in place. Um, or t take the knight. Advance this pawn to break open stuff up there. I'm going to castle. Usually in the Scandinavian, I like to castle queenside, but there's just so much weird stuff going on here. Okay, that protects the knight. Maybe I should have taken it when I had the chance. Um, and that's also preparing maybe b5 to trap this knight. I mean, this bishop. I'm going to go ahead and retract the bishop, I think. Okay, see, that's what they should have done a second ago to attack that square. Um... Can I attack the queen here? Then where's it going to go? It's kind of running out of squares, isn't it? Have I trapped their queen? No. It can go there. Okay. Still. I think that's, yeah, that's the only safe move for the queen. Okay. Well, that's not bad. What about a uh, knight here? Is, then is the queen trapped? No. <laughs> I'm really bad at knowing whether the queen is trapped. <laughs> ah, sorry, my shoulders are a little stiff. And it looks like one's higher than the other, but that's just the way the camera angle is. Okay. Okay. Well, I got the queen out of the middle of the board. I don't know how much good that did. Or what to do next. Because now, I can't do that. Now, I thought about this, putting my knight on d3, which is a check, would force either a king move or a bishop capture. If the bishop captured, then I would uh, uh, recapture with my original Scandinavian pawn, which then would uh, have a nice little uh, outpost right there. Not that pawns need outposts, but and that would uh, undouble and it would open up things a little bit oh that pawn would also be protected from, with, by this bishop it was just uh, something that was on my mind I think I'm going to do it because I don't see a real downside to it okay now I get this pawn here. Well, the king didn't quite have to move then, did it? Okay. But since it did move, is that an opportunity? Not really. I just like to... The center was getting really crowded. I didn't like it. But I, who I, I don't have a lot I can do right now. I can uh, start getting this pawn up there to guard. I mean, that pawn's guarded currently, but it may not always be. Or should I push F pawn right now? I think I should push F pawn, which gives my rook somewhere to go. Oh, but then it blocks the uh, bishop from... The, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's fine because uh Oh, you're attacking this and that. And that. Wow, nice move. Um 
Not bad. I could just take it. Trade. Can we just trade that? Or... Yeah, see, I don't want to do that. Because, I mean, yeah, because, see, that looks like, oh, I guard both of these pawns. But then that knight moves in my, and then we're forcing a queen trade. I'm up a pawn, but I don't know if I really want a queen trade right now. Because I won't be up a pawn if it goes there and takes that. Then we'll be even on pawns and then basically be forced into a queen trade. So I think I just take it. And then we're left with opposite colored bishops. Yeah, okay. That's not really endangering anything too heavy right now, I don't think. My idea was to, to push the F-pawn again and see what they would do about it. And then that would reopen the diagonal for the bishop to guard my D-pawn, my D-pawn that went to the E-file and then came back. But I really don't know. I can't threaten the queen with this because that leaves my C-pawn unguarded. Which makes me wonder if I shouldn't put my queen there first. Which also lines up through here, which is where I wanted this pawn lining up here in a second anyway. I Oh, goodness. And it connects the rooks finally. Let's do it. Okay, queen went back. Now I can push the F pawn again, which was my plan. Guarded by the rook, the queen, and the knight. Not that I really need it to be guarded. Okay. They pushed that pawn. Now if I push this forward, it's only guarded by the rook. And then, and then what is it doing? Just uh, barricading the king in there? But then the, it clears that spot for the knight to come in behind it. Which can protect this pawn and kind of put some pressure on that pawn and kind of keep that rook from moving. I like that idea. Okay. All right. Threaten my knight. Good. Good plan. Because I was about to move it anyway. That was my plan anyway, was to move the knight here. Oh, but that, yeah, see, doing that, now that unguards that pawn, From the, the rook no longer guards that pawn, so the knight can take it. But, oh, and my knight has nowhere to go at that point. That's another factor to consider. Yes, it does, right there. Then my knight can then go right there. Their knight would be threatened. My knight would be barricaded in by, by two pawns. Okay. And I gotta get it out of danger anyway. Okay. Oh, it would be barricaded in by one pawn. I was way off. Okay. That's my idea. I don't see anything better because I can't move it back here, can't move it back to where it was, can't go there, not a good idea to go there or there, so, and it can't go there. Not that I have to move it, but doing so gives me a seventh rank outpost for the knight and frees up this rook to so hit the bishop, the queen, I mean the knight, the queen, uh, the, wow, I can't even say the names of the pieces. The king is now protecting the knight. and getting out of the way of this. I could check, but that really doesn't do anything, right? I can also put my bishop on e4. Put pressure on the pinned piece. Well, it's not pinned right now, but it will be once I do that. I think that's good. Okay. Preparing this, which will open up for the unguarded pawn and put me in check. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to win a knight and a rook right here for a bishop. So I'm not going to worry about the that diagonal just yet, which I can always step out of, I think. Check. Oh, and he didn't... Oh, he couldn't go... Yeah, he could have gone... No, he had to go, so I'm just winning the rook for free? Okay, that was... Yeah, that's still happening. However, if I go here... I think I'm preparing mate. I'm like a move or two from mate here. Actually, I can go here because that pawn is pinned by my rook and it's mate in one. But when I move my queen here without check, then this queen goes here with check I have to move, and then what happens? The queen comes back here to guard that pawn. And to uh, threaten my queen, which will be here. So, that makes me wonder if I shouldn't check first. I, if, I, if I check first, then they can't do this right now. And... The king would have two choices, only two, to capture the rook or to move to back to its original square in e1. If it moves back to its original square on e1, then I could check, sacrifice the rook, because that would force it to capture. Then I check here. And the king would have to go back to e1, where I can check, and then it would either be, a, 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 oh, yeah, I could either go further or back to f1, where I could keep checking and win. Does that all make sense? And that keeps me from having to worry about this. Because I was, my original plan I don't think works because of check, which forces the king move. Then their queen goes here, protecting this square, and uh, and offering the queen train. So crazy, I know, but here we go. Okay. Now again, if I come here, we're still uh, still having to deal with that. I'm gonna go with my plan, crazy as it may seem. Yeah, because it couldn't go here because of the bishop or here because of the knight. It had to go that way. Now it it either has to go back or or come to f1, but it went back, so this should be made. Okay. Well, as I said, I had just lost to the Venbot in the previous game and had no idea what went wrong until the end. And the game review was only mildly helpful. So uh, thank you for watching on this one. Uh, I'm going to run the game review just out of curiosity to see how poorly I did. Because it feels like I did pretty well, including that checkmating plan at the end, which I think was foolproof. It says I did 82.9. That's not. Oh, no blunders. No mistakes. Look at that. Okay, because in the last game I had five, five blunders, or no, five mistakes and three blunders, something like that. I only had some inaccuracies, but Vin didn't blunder either. Okay, is it gonna, if I do the game review, is it gonna say what my inaccuracies were? Start review. Okay, yeah, we only had two book moves because Vin then moved his queen out, which was an inaccuracy. Okay, I should not have moved the bishop there. I should have gotten my other knight out. Or just e5. I really don't know. 
Oh, I should have blocked in my e-pawn just to threaten the queen. Why? Because it has nowhere to go? But it does. Right? Well, if it goes there, I can bring out my knight. But that leaves this pawn. Yeah, I don't like that. I, n I don't think I would ever play that because it blocks in the e-pawn, therefore blocking in this bishop. And then the queen just sidesteps. Okay, next. That was an inaccuracy, even though it protects this bishop and gets out. Okay, retry. Does it want me to bring this back here again? Or does it think I should have played e5? No. Come on. Come on, machine. Quit dotting. E5 is also an inaccuracy, but slightly better. Play. Okay, I'm going to click the hint button. Oh, it went, now it wants me to get my knight out. Okay. Well, I considered that. Uh, all right. Next. That was an inaccuracy. And it did end up causing me problems because my knight had to continue guarding it. So instead here, I should have kick the knight out or done this? Oh, the pawn move probably would have been better. Yeah. Blocking the queen from guarding that square. Okay. That makes sense. I accept that one. Oh, that, was that my last inaccuracy? Alright. Well, none of them were brilliant, but it, it liked my checkmate plan. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, I did okay in that game. No mistakes, no blunders, and no profanities. See you next time.